Have you ever wanted to see the northern lights without leaving your home? Unity Shadow Graphs can help you do this. Unity also supports VR, so after following the steps in this video, grab a headset and watch it live. So create a new scene in Unity and make sure it has the global volume for post-processing, especially the bloom override. Then grab a sky image from Google. Import it to Unity and set the texture shape to cube, then apply. It should look like this. Then create a new material and set its shader to skybox cube map. Then assign the sky texture. Go to Windows, Rendering, Lighting, and change the skybox to the one you just created. And now you have a different skybox. Next, open up Blender and create a plane. Rotate it on the Y axis and then move it upwards. Then scale it up on the Y axis. Then press spacebar and search for set origin to 3D cursor. Then split the screen and select the UV editor. Next, go to the edit mode then press U to unwrap and make sure you click on this little icon so that the vertices you select become visible in the UV editor. So to make sure that the vertices are well oriented, rotate it to 90 degrees. Then export it to Unity and add it to your scene and make sure you increase the scale. Next, create a blank shader graph and set it to universal, only, transparent, additive and both faces. Next, add a simple noise node and set its scale to 30. Then add a color property in HDR mode and select white. Then multiply the color node and the simple noise node and connect it to the base color. Next, create a material from this shader graph and apply it to the plane. Now, to make it look like the northern lights, add a tiling and offset node and connect it to the UV. Then create a vector 2 property, add it to the shader graph, connect it to the tiling input and set default values of 1 by 1. Now in the inspector, set the X value to about 7 and the Y value to about 0 0.1. Then we need to make it move, so create a new vector 2 property, call it speed and add it to the graph. Then multiply it with the time node and insert it into the offset input. Then in the inspector, set the Y value to about 0 0.1 and now it moves correctly. So now, to take care of these hard edges, add a texture 2D node and call it mask. Then assign to it Unity's default particle texture. Add it to the shader graph and connect it to a sample texture 2D node. Then multiply it with a simple noise node and connect it to this other node. And that will take care of the hard edges. So in the inspector, assign Unity's default particle texture again and now it works. Now to make it a little bit more present or visible, remove this connection and add a power node. Then create a float property for the mask power and set its default value to 1. Connect that to the power node and replace the previous connection. Now, change its value in the inspector to find what is best for you. Now, select the color you want and increase its intensity to about 2.5. And this is the final result. So don't forget to subscribe if you want to know how to see this with the help of Unity and VR. Thanks for watching.